Hey guys, it's Bob. Today I'm going to be making for you pizza. That's right. Pizza is going to be an actual healthy meal, kind of. Um, it's going to be a gluten-free pizza, and you can find gluten-free pizza dough pretty much in every single supermarket that is out there. Um, you hear the song in the background? That's... Do you know who it is? Take a guess. That is Dean Martin. Dean Martin, a uh, member of the Rat Pack, obviously. Um, one of my favorites, probably my favorite Rat Pack member, um, holds a very special place in my heart. He is, uh, when I was a boy, um, my grandmother was a huge, huge Dean Martin fan. She had a crush on him. Um, she had a stereo cabinet with lots of records in it, and she would tell me to go put his records on. I lived in the same house as my grandmother. It was a three-family house. We were on the top. My aunt and uncle were on the second floor, and my grandmother and grandfather were on the bottom. And she would tell me to go put Dean Martin records on. And I always thought he was the coolest one. Something about him. Maybe it was the hair, the tuxedo, the, the cigarette, the drink. Something about Dean was always cool to me. So um, when my son was born, we deliberated for four or five days and we couldn't figure out what we should name him. And we finally, finally, finally figured Dean was the right name. So uh, every time I look at my son, I think of my grandmother, who is extraordinarily special to me. And um, every time I hear Dean Martin, I think of my grandmother. So uh, so today, I'm making a pizza, and uh, it's kind of inspired by my grandmother. So, um, gluten-free pizza, I can't tell you how easy it is. And my family, my wife and I, we make pizza every Friday night. And for years and years and years, that required me to roll out dough over here and make a big mess. So now, I'm buying already-made gluten-free dough and man does that make life easier for me and I can get a pizza done made in the oven in about 10-15 minutes we're eating pizza before it was a big big you know production rolling out dough flour everywhere so this has been awesome so right now I already have some sausage it's gonna be a sausage pizza with some spinach on it but it's chicken sausage to make it a little healthier now if you know anything about me and you've been watching some of my videos I have multiple sclerosis. I have to take Tecfidera. Yeah, Tecfidera, not my favorite. Tecfidera means I have to eat these meals that are fatty, high protein, so it absorbs the negative effects of uh, Tecfidera, which are GI, nobody wants that. So uh, this will definitely do it. So chicken sausage, um, I have a skim, <clears throat> excuse me, a skim, uh, mozzarella cheese that's going to go on top of the pizza and then lastly some spinach I have one in the oven right now so I'll be able to show that to you in a minute um, I have some sausage right now which I did which was I squeezed it out of the casing um, so I could break it up in uh, the frying pan so you don't have to I guess you can bake your sausage and then cut it up but I prefer to squeeze it out um, what I also like to do to make it taste a little bit more like real sausages, add fennel seed, okay? It's in, again, in, in the spice rack of every supermarket. Chicken sausage, you know, doesn't taste exactly like a pork sausage, but if you add fennel to it, I think it does. It starts to mimic it much more. So now I'm tasting sausage, but I know it's a lot healthier. Um, the tomato sauce, it's a marinara sauce, very simple. Guys, you could buy nowadays, if you don't feel like making it, you could buy a pretty decent jar sauce. When I was a kid, jar sauces were terrible. I think today they've come a long way. If you're willing to spend a few extra dollars, you can get a decent jar sauce. If you're willing to make it, you at least know what's going in it. I recommend you make it. If you're gonna make it, pay, pay the extra dollar, get San Marzano tomatoes, they, they're, you, you know where that extra dollar goes. They break up so much easier, they taste so much better, it cooks quicker. 
you'll enjoy it. So, okay, so the pizza dough. I love. And I really, really don't mind it. You, you really don't notice so much that you're not eating real dough. Okay. So first, what I like to do, anywhere I can get flavor, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put a little olive oil on my dough. Okay. If you have oregano, garlic powder, anything, you could do that instead of what I have here. I put a little olive oil on. This is uh, Parmesan blend. It says roasted garlic and cheese. If you had uh, oregano, garlic powder, anything, you don't have to. You can omit this. But I like it because it's just a way of getting a little flavor in. You know, when you're trying to cook healthy, like I said, I'm eliminating the uh, this, um, pork sausage. Instead, I'm using chicken sausage. So you, you're giving up a little bit of flavor. So what do I do? I'm trying to sneak flavor in somewhere else. Check my pizza. It's almost at the perfect point. Okay, now I'm taking those San Marzano tomatoes and I'm gonna smear that on. Back this up a little bit so maybe you get a better view. And that's about it. Okay, now we're going to add our cheese. Now when you're browning your sausage, keep this in mind, it does not have to be fully cooked. It's chicken though, right Bob? So that could be bad. No. Anybody know why? Want to guess? You're not supposed to eat chicken that's pink in the middle. Because it's going back in the oven. The pizza's not ready. So right now my chicken sausage is definitely not completely cooked through. So I'm dumping it on this cutting board. Um, take my knife, I'm just going to mince it up a little bit, okay, pull that out for a second, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add my sausage. Okay, now my finished pizza is right here. Now, I said it was going to be a spinach pie. Now, I don't like to put the spinach on until the very end. And the residual heat from the pizza is going to, by the time I cut into this, it will have wilted down to the point that I like it. Now, I'm going to take this pizza and put it on the pan. And there you go. And if this pizza was in the oven at 430 for about 10 minutes, and it is done. So you could have a homemade pizza in maybe 20 minutes, about 10 minutes of prep time, 10 minutes in the oven, and you're eating a pretty healthy gourmet pizza. So, um, you know, give it a try. Spinach is super healthy. It's a brain food. It's a super food. Um, it reduces inflammation in the brain. Um, 
increases your memory. So, you know, think about anybody with multiple sclerosis who has some of those memory problems. I know that it's, it, you know, a problem for me. Uh, you know, I would say for lunch, can you beat that pizza? And you're kind of on a diet, a special diet. Uh, also, I just read today that red wine is good for you. And I have an organic red on hand that I finally found one that I enjoy. Now, a lot of the organics I did not enjoy. Uh, the sulfites really gave me a headache. This one does not. So, um, and I was reading how red wine can add seven years to your life. Uh, again, antioxidants that uh, improve the connectivity of the neurons in your brain. If you know about multiple sclerosis, our neurons are are kind of hitting a roadblock because of the myelin sheath is wearing down and those neurons are missing each other or hitting that roadblock because of the wearing down. Um, so hey, if a glass of red wine can add um, some, you know, longevity to our lives, great. Now, don't overdo it. The article said one glass of red wine. So everything in moderation. It also helps in keeping your blood vessels strong and preventing them from collapsing. So um, with that, I'm done with my pizza. Um, I want to say thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to have a little toast. Before I do that, though, uh, today was a special day. Um, if you want to check out the recipe for this and... The video for this, go to my YouTube channel, um, Cooking4MS, that's Cooking, the number 4MS. Also, my Twitter is Cooking4MS, the number 4. I'd like to uh, thank Kat at Spoonie Author Network. Uh, she allowed me to be a guest blogger, and um, I really, really appreciated uh, the opportunity to kind of share my story. Um, it was very cathartic. There's lots of lots of uh, wonderful stories of uh, different authors that that had similar experiences. Some funny, some um, uh, very touching. So, Kat, thanks so much for that opportunity. Um, and with that, enjoy your pizza, give it a shot, and um, Grandma for inspiring me. Uh, until we meet again, love you, miss you. Okay, take care guys. Let me have a sip. Delicious. Can't wait to try my pizza. Looks pretty good, right? Enjoy everybody.